So here we're going to have 5-7, and 5-7 says that after opening a certain switch at t equals 0, in a circuit containing a capacitor, the voltage across the capacitor starts decaying exponentially with time. Measurements indicate that the voltage was 7.28 volts at t equals 1 and 0.6 volts at t equals 6. Determine the initial voltage at t equals 0 and the time constant of the voltage waveform. Cool. So... Let's write this down. Um, let's draw a diagram first. So we have a voltage source. That was given V0. There's no resistor, but we have a capacitor. Just like that. And it says that there's a switch in there. So let's put a switch up there. So that's not open. That's bad. Let's just cross that out. Oh, it's confusing. There we go. Positive, negative. So this switch opens at t equals zero. And we have the V cap, V cap equals 7.28 at t equals one, and V cap equals 0.6 at t equals six. So we've got two unknowns at two times. Cool. That should be able to solve it. So that means we need one equation. And so uh, we need to determine the initial voltage and the time constant. So what we do is we're going to look for an equation with a capacitor in it. And we have one here in this chapter, which we looked at a couple of times, which is V of T equals V zero E up minus T over tau. All right, and that's our equation for how a capacitor decays with time. Because remember, if we look at this voltage over time, it's going to decay down because it's going to be uncharging. Because um, it was closed originally, and now we're going to have it open. So that's going to be decaying because this, this voltage uh, has to go down. It's originally going to be whatever this top piece is for this, um, as long as it was uh, sufficiently long. But they've even given us better. They've given us our V cap and our time at two points. So. We know like this point and this point. So therefore, if we know this point, we can calculate the rest of the curve. So anyway, that's how we calculate the rest of the curve. We need to plug in our variables to this. So let's just do 7.28 equals V0 E up minus 1 over tau minus T over tau. And that's going to be at T equals 1. So we're going to get up. Uh, um, t, T, so that's going to be minus 6 over tau, 1, 2, 6. So then we're also going to get our 0. 0.6 equals V0, E, and this is 1, sorry. This is going to be E minus 6 over tau. Okay, so these are our two equations here, 1 and 2, and that comes from 7, 1, six six so if we solve both of these you're going to get 7.28 over 0.6 equals e up five over tau that's just algebra and then if we want to get rid of an e on both sides we take the lin of both sides so 7.28 over 0.6 equals lin of that lin of e equals nothing that cancels out five over tau and that's going to be tau equals 5 divided by 2.5 equals 2 equals tau. Cool. And then we're also going to get for this one, um, we can plug back in to solve for our V0. Because essentially V0 is the same in both of these, so it canceled out, which is nice how we can solve this. So now we got to find back for our V0. So just take the second one. 0.6 equals V0 E up minus 6 divided by 2, and it's going to be 0.6 lin 12 V0 equals 12. V0 equals 12 volts. So our total equation at the end of this one is going to be V of T equals 12 E up minus 0.5 T. Cool. And that is our answer. And again, it's just saying our initial voltage is going to start, which the starting point is on here. Higher starting point means higher point in the curve. And then our negative exponential is going to be our 
curve going down, and that's going to be shaped by whatever this constant is here, is how that sh that curve comes out. So essentially, that's pretty that's pretty straightforward. That's 5.7.